3,000, just over 3,200 uh, feet high. Uh, there's a competition that's held through the UK, uh, which is the Three Peaks Challenge, and it's doing the three highest peaks between, well, the highest peak of Wales, the highest peak in England, and the highest peak in Scotland, and uh, trying to do it in the space of, uh, you know, 24 hours to enjoy eight. the beautiful scenery. And uh, get back to you a bit further. Also, just uh, one more thing about Beatrix Potter. And as I said, she brought up a lot of the uh, farms and, and her later life, she was really uh, involved and committed to uh, protecting the area and particularly, as I said, the haddock sheep. It felt like a herdwick, by the way. And, uh, and then when she passed away, she gave a lot of her land uh, to the Conservancy and protection of, of the land as well. So uh, it wasn't giving it to any family members, it all went to the protection of different trusts. And us, we'll disembark. As you can see already, plenty of photo opportunities. Take a video to send to my nephew. Okay, so just before you disembark, our train will pull in approximately 1040, just so you know. So you've got plenty of time to look around and to get a scar. How is it? Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> no, no, don't worry. Um, because the train's out. Although, this is beautiful. Yeah, yeah he's moving. Is this the one we're getting on, you think, back no, here? No, I don't think so. No? I mean, because it's here. So it might? Okay. She, she said ours only coming until 1040, though. Oh. Come here. We're at Windermere train station, and uh, we're gonna, uh, we're getting ready to, this is one of the extra excursions. Do you know how much we paid for it? Uh -huh. Um, you can say well, it's on the hold on, yeah. Kevin's got the piece of paper. I'll tell you how Next much we paid for this uh, extra, for this excursion. It was 35 pounds. 35 total. pounds total, but we're going to get to go on a train and a boat. And a boat. Over and Lake a boat. Wind Windermere. Yeah. So. <laughs> do you want to wait no. to get up in there? So they have, down here they have um, a station restaurant and on down I think they have a gift shop. There's a little Thomas the, Thomas the Tank Engine. Do you want to go in here and look? Do you, so you want to go down here? Oh, there's the gift shop. Have you seen, I haven't seen Bridget. Oh, okay. Okay, so here's the gift shop. And we'll look around and see if we see anything. Hi. Candy. Oh, these are like these are soaps watermelon it smells good you can smell it oh they have pictures of the trains mm -mm. I've never heard of this brand peppermint cream bar quiggins wonder where that's made I've just never heard of that brand. Kindle. I wonder what the difference superior white and superior brown. Pink and white nougat. Jane. Snacks of coal. <laughs> Ginger fudge. Chocolate mint. Ooh. 
Mint cake fingers. That's interesting. Milk chocolate peanuts. These are slate coasters. Ooh, they have ice cream. They have like mini ice cream cups in here, Kev. Toffee swirl, chocolate, black currant. I've seen those a lot of places. Mm hmm. <laughs> are these, these are metal wall signs. There's a trying one. King of something. Okay, I want to make sure they didn't have any underground ones. Oh, uh, Amelia. Is it spelled wrong? It, it is. I guess it says their name during the song. Uh huh. That's Nate. Oh, they're five pounds. So it'll be about eight dollars. There's the little arms. I saw that. Who's in the tunnels? What? Oh, those are placements. Cool. Now those weren't. Those, no, those were. Are That's so cute. Those are so cute. They have little change purses. Oh. Witches and Wizards Week, October. Family fun. There's. Okay, let's go in the restaurant. See what it's like in here. They have drinks too. Here's what the cafe looks like. So there's a children's playground up here too. Uh, we didn't even notice that because we don't have any kids. This is the train we're going to be in. Do you want to sit across from each other so we can talk? Um, we can. Which ones? This, the one up here. No, I don't think it does. No. Huh? So I got a hot chocolate in the uh, cafe and Kevin got a Coke in the gift shop. And I don't know if we're gonna be able to sit across from each other like this or not, but this uh, we're gonna try to sit across from each other so that we can talk. But there's the uh, playground that they have for kids. So this is the train we're gonna be in. and But I wanted to show you how pretty it is down here because um, you get to see the entrance to the cave, um, or the tunnel, the, the cave, the tunnel we'll be going through, and also the flowers up here. And uh, it's really neat looking. So there's the tunnel. And here's the flowers. And then here's the train section from this way. And Kevin's on there waiting for me. I told him I didn't get very many pictures walking around, so I wanted to come back through and, and get some more pictures. But it looks like each train is reserved by different uh, bus companies. And like, so this one's ours. Um, so, uh, that's a good thing. 
There's Mr. Dan in there. So, this should be the boat that we're going to be getting on. I would think so. Yeah, it's pulling in. And uh, there's people on it, of course, they'll get off and then we'll get on. Looks like there's a lot of room, though. Yeah, and you can get inside and outside, depending on how warm you want to be. If this whole group of boat is
a brief summary of William Wordsworth, again for those who are not familiar with him. He is a poet very much inspired by this area. He did do a lot of travelling, went to France. He had very close bonds with his family, particularly his sister who does get mentioned in a number of his works. But he was really drawn uh, to this area of England, saying it is the loveliest spot that he has ever seen. Um, and this particular poem, Daffodils, written about this area. Where he lived, his, his uh, cottage house is actually more or less just up the road. And when I say just up the road, just a couple of minutes up from where we'll be parking the coach. And uh, for anyone that's interested, when we arrive at Grasmere, again, a very small uh, village, I'm going to wander up to the church and the cemetery where he and his family are actually buried. So we do have any big fans of William Wordsworth, if you'd like to come up and, uh, and pay your respects. It is a beautiful spot uh, where the church is as well. Um, and, uh, and just across from the church is a number of different cafes. And uh, from there, if you'd like, you can go and explore and decide what you'd like for lunch. I'm just trying to find the, uh, the poem for you. And the perfect setting, of course, to be playing it in, in the scenery that he loved so much. But to have that English twist, uh, fish and chips with vinegar on the chips, uh, and also, if you're just getting fries, when I say chips, I mean fries, by the way. Uh, thick cut ones generally here. And also with curry, like a curry sauce. That's very popular. A little like takeaway type of chips to get instead of using things like ketchup, uh, which a lot of us would be more common to use in our own countries. And you can still get things like ketchup for, for you know, fries and, and your meals. Um, and actually a curry dish is one of the, if not the most popular, a takeaway dish in the United Kingdom. Others, of course, are the beef and lamb, famously comes from the UK. Wales in particular is very famous for its lamb. And in the area that we're specifically going to, there's some for you to try, the Kendall Mint Cake. And it comes from Kendall, the place which is also located in the Lakes District. up here on the left, little hidden treasure for you, the smallest house in Britain.
to the Wordsworth graves. We're going to see uh, William Wordsworth, uh, where he's buried. Uh, we are in Grasmere, and this is the church um, cemetery in Grasmere. So, you would think that with that being my favorite poem, that that's why we picked this trip, but it's not. <laughs> that was just one of the perks. You want to go this way? Yeah, we can go back up front. Oh, there's a dog garden. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to go uh, find a place to eat. That's the gingerbread house she said was. Yeah, she says right next to the sun. But you are not crazy about strong. Do you want to go find something to eat, or yeah. do you want to go in there? Yeah, the, well, we can come back. Yeah. Wordsworth Daffodil Garden, yeah. yeah. There's a couple of daffodils out, but not a whole lot. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to be there. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to be there. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to be there. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to be there. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to be there. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to be there. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to be there. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to be there. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to be there. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to be there. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to be there. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to be there. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to be there. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to be there. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to be there. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to be there. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to be there. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to be there. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to be there. Yeah, I this is Sarah Nelson Original Celebrated Gingerbread House. Okay, we just look at the spoons. Mm -hmm. Those are cute. We're gonna go around this way. Yeah, from the church. So we just ate lunch, and hopefully you'll watch that video. You can see where we ate. Um, this is a beautiful town. The um, it's a very small town. It's a very small town, but there's lots of azalea bushes. Um, and other bushes that I have no, yes, I have no idea what the names of some of these are. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's a it's a beautiful area, and you can tell that people are very proud of their gardens and they enjoy it. Here's a Grassmere Garden Village. Oh, that's a place to eat over there. The potting shed. So there's a place to eat on the water here. But Kevin and I are going to go in, I think, a couple of gift shops or fudge shops something or something like that. Now we're going in a place called the Chocolate Cottage. Uh, handcrafted chocolates are made here, it says. Beware. Kevin might get ice cream. Kevin loves ice cream. You can get ice cream. Oh, there's some ice cream. It has to be from Scotland. Uh, they have cans. No. No. Mint cake. That is heavy. What did she say she was going to get? She's up there, weren't they? She talking about is that what cakes? she's talking I about? Think so. Okay, because I want to make sure, because I would get one, yeah. but then if she's going to get us one. I'm pretty sure that's what she said. Okay. 
Yeah, because she said you can get it in a bar. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. Or like this. I bet you that's what she was talking about. You can get it in a big bar like that. That's fine. Get the small one. Okay. I just want to make sure. Ooh, they have flapjacks. Thank you. Grandma Wild's flapjacks, and these are toffee flapjacks, and these are chocolate flapjacks. Mm -hmm. uh, like a, that's a cool one. Maybe they had them on um, Bake Off or something. Or on some kind that of show. Look, original toffee, Brazil nut. Where are these made? These are made in these are made in Belgium. Oh, really? Uh-huh, and they have white and milk, dark. They have one with berries. Right. Hot chocolate, make alcohol. You make your hot chocolate, then you squirt the alcohol. In. Is that what that is? Yeah. That's right. And then we have the salted caramel. No. Oh. I'm going to have that again. Oh, what are you eating? I'll have to lose some more weight there. <laughs> and do I need a Chocolate covered Marzabam. Three, four, six, eight. Or is it just creepy? Sometimes it's hard to tell. I'll tell you those things. Do you want to go in here? Sure. <laughs> Sheepy things. Wow, it is very soft. You would have liked these if you'd done, wouldn't you? Yes. That's beautiful. I like these. Yeah, these are more mainstream. They have a post office in here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh yeah. That's for a kid, yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. I like that. 30? 30 pounds? Well, we really didn't find, uh, we went through just very few gift shops here in Grassmere. Uh, there's some, uh, sheep over here. It's very, very beautiful, like I said. Um, but there, there weren't a whole lot of shops as far as I could tell. Um, look at this house here. Let me see if I can get it. Let me see if I can zoom in. How far can I zoom in? Right... Yeah, look at that house right there. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, but um, it it is beautiful, really. There are lots of, uh, there's like a caravan park over here. And um, I guess people just come here to get out, get out of the city for a little while. Because it's, uh, it's pretty peaceful here, I mean, this road that we're on is, is busy that we're walking on, but Kevin and I have been sitting in the bus all day, so I figured it would do us a good to take a little walk. Huh? We've been sitting on a bus, a boat, and a train. Yeah, so it's, yeah, it's good for us to get out and get a little walk. 
we were in <laughs> we were in search of a um, a bottled coke and all they had in the shop were uh, cans yeah i'll get us a water so um i i mean i can wait but I know Kevin can't wait. I wonder. I don't know how long the trip is. Going well, to. I'm sure she'll tell us. Yeah. I might, well, I might go ahead and just get a water and say it. They're only a pound, so. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I know I don't want any. But you drink more than me. Mm -hmm. Follow them. There's the plan. And it's William and Mary. Well, I'm trying to figure out what it means. William and Mary. Yep, that's William and Mary again. Mr. Dad. elementary school. Mm hmm. In the gym. Mm hmm. With a big pair of shoes. Welcome to Scotland. What you will start to see as well going through the north is signs saying that we're going to the north. Just uh, signs pointing to the north. <laughs> yeah, you'll feel like you're in Game of Thrones. <laughs> and, and sometimes in the scenery, some of it was filmed in and around these parts as well. Uh, well, I'll come down now, check if anyone wants water, and if you're game, feel free to take a sample of our Kendall mint cake and uh, let me know what you think. of year to travel perfect in yeah, spring so for all of the uh the beautiful scenery everything coming in and then also the uh all the lambs and absolutely beautiful it's a, a horrible pest of a plant or pest of a plant and my non <laughs> oh, i might do apologize sometimes my very thick new zealand accent can come through with my ears. So the uh, the pest of a plant is very hard to kill. So uh, back in New Zealand and I'm sure
Okay, so here is our blacksmith shop, directly in front of us. You can see on the door dated from 1713 is when this building uh, was built, obviously. On the side of 1754 is from when it became a blacksmith shop. And you've got some beautiful sculptures out here on the left hand side. We are in Gretna Green. We've stopped for a rest stop. And uh, I thought you would want to go in a food shop first to make sure you can get a Coke or something. Because we haven't found a bottled Coke yet. And this is a huge gift store. Um, I'm not going to be able to show you everything here, but it's big, and they do have they do have bottles. I like that. Yeah, they. Yeah, this is the first we're getting to to see of Scotland is the gift the gift shop. The rest stop. Like the flag there. Andrew would probably like one of those for his house. Flag. Yeah. But I'd rather get him one that's folded, maybe. Do they have a thing outside out front? I uh, wonder if they have their last name. A coaster. Duncan. They don't have our... No, look. That would have been cool if we could have gotten... Yeah, we... Our original name was Dean. This is 3D Dean. Three pounds less here. Oh, those are magnets. These. That's the one I wanted to go yeah, on. That was the term we would have written if we did the other one. Oh no, it was Ah, the Gruffalo. <laughs> With over 200 stickers. Oh wow, that's huge. Huge box of jobs. Yeah, that's a... There's some chocolate bars. There's that, those mint cakes. Scottish macaroon. <laughs> Thank you.
make their way up to Edinburgh, excuse me, Glasgow, get the right side of the country. Uh, okay, so I do hope you enjoyed uh, Gretna Green. Uh, quite a nice uh, little stop there and having just all the, the top quality things in those shops is sometimes, as I said, something we get asked for plus the uh, those beautiful gardens and today the bonus of having a pipe in there as well. Uh, okay, so now we're making our way to our final destination uh, of the day which is Glasgow. Not the capital city but one of the two biggest cities of the country between Edinburgh and Glasgow. And, uh, and then uh, what we're going to do, it's going to take just about an hour or just over an hour for us to arrive into Glasgow. Again, we'll have to wait and see what the traffic will have in store for us as well. Uh, on arrival, we're going to do a orientation drive for you as well uh, to show you some of the bigger sites in case anyone wants to go exploring tonight. And you'll know the layout of the land. And then on arrival, a usual check-in process that we've done on previous nights and uh, we'll get those keys and to get you up to your rooms as efficiently as we can and then a free evening this evening in Glasgow for you to do what you will. Remembering tonight is a Friday night in Glasgow, a, a, a town that is very popular for its uh, bars and nightlife, uh, so just something to, to be aware of um, and the bars being just sort of two streets back near where some of the other restaurants and things are too. Uh, I'll tell you about tomorrow morning a bit later. Our times are pretty similar. What I wanted to share with you now was just a little bit more about Scotland to give you a, uh, a bit of Square. The University in Glasgow obviously developed somewhat but uh, uh, opened from around the 13th century, a big draw card for people coming to this area. A lot of the buildings that we're passing uh, is uh, housing for the University. around more of the university buildings as we're heading along here. And you can really see the real jumbling of architecture that makes up Glasgow, showing a, a bit of the timeline. If not, I know it's a jumbled timeline, but uh, showing where sure. Glasgow in particular has, has thrived. So we've got some of the uh, Victorian buildings coming up straight ahead. Uh, also as we're heading into St George's Square, um, you will or you may or may not recognise from certain movies. A lot of films have been uh, done in that square. Uh, World War Z, a number of other films where it was used for the Lightkiller is football. Again, another city where two football teams uh, are centred, uh, the Celtics and the Rangers. There is a massive rivalry between the two and sometimes the religious aspect does get tied into it as well. Uh, 
the with the Protestants versus Catholics. Uh, if there's brawls there, it can get quite fired up. And they actually now lo no longer let anyone into bars if they're wearing the uh, any colours of the teams uh, and and looking like they're big supporters. You will all be fine. It's more the sort of clubs in the entrance there. So you can really see the architecture along here. street where they were doing the filming I was talking about was just down to our left hand side just that small street and actually at the end there was where the Corinthian restaurant was that I was trying to get you to go to but you can really see why it was uh, quite easily and has been quite easily used for a number of different films Jamie's Italian there on the left hand side Jamie Oliver's Italian he has a chain of uh, Italian restaurants right through the UK now all the figures that we can see in the square are not just political figures. Uh, you've got royals, you have got writers, uh, so the likes of Sir Walter Scott, uh, the likes of Robert Peel who was the creator of the police force, hence they uh, became known as sort of the, the Peelers if you like. Everyone's got different expressions they use for their police forces. <laughs> And we're going to just do a nice loop around the square for you before we continue on to our hotel. Mm. is that building right down to your right hand side. Now as we're going to look uh, past it, you'll see the motto that I had mentioned as well as the feature of the Glasgow coat of arms again. So again the tree, the bell, the fish and the bird. To recount it myself in my mind. From this angle you can see with that, that building to the front right how they've um, sort of incorporated some more modern architecture at the top by putting the, uh, the glass structure up there. on the side when he with the stone prime minister he uh, also needs a clean on the top of his head they all need a bit of a, a clean it's one of the most prominent figures of Scottish history. no matter what the body shape very very tight outfits <laughs> <laughs> actually I have seen some of the deepest v-neck shirts on the men uh, so yes <laughs> It's, I find that quite interesting in every different city, you know, there's, there's certain fashion trends that come through. Now it's midnight and 3am, <laughs> students, and being that this is a student filled city, will always pop it up there. Now the street we just, well we're going to stop in front of. Uh, that crosses the street we're on now. This is Buchanan Street. I've written this on the information sheet for you. This is uh, a main sort of high street shops for you. Uh, but you can see it's quite busy, quite, and this has all been, you know, redeveloped as Glasgow's become more popular and uh, it continued to thrive, particularly with the tourism and the rise of population in the city.
shopping street on it, which is Buchanan. And then, excuse me, the shops close around 7 p.m. Uh, not 8 p.m. Restaurants, uh, a, 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 as well as, as you can see, on all the streets parallel to the one we're on. Sucky Hall Street. <laughs> S-A-U-C-H-I-E Hall. Uh, Sucky Hall Street, which is a street parallel to ours, to our right-hand side. Has a number of uh, of uh, just casual dining establishments along there, and uh, as well as the the bar area too. Tomorrow morning, you have a little bit of a sleep in. Uh, 6:45 a.m. I will be setting the wake up calls. 7:15 breakfast and bags, and then 8:15 we will be departing the hotel. And uh, now on our departure, the first stretch is going to be about an hour and a quarter as we make our way up to the Highlands and first stop is Loch Lomond. Let's begin for our cruise. They have some beautiful buildings down here. Okay, they have this beautiful church. 